I'm going to be honest with you. Well, Will Smith actually used to live behind my house. I've, I've had the pleasure of knowing his son and his daughter very well, and we did Men in Black 3 with him. Um, I believe whatever he felt that he did, he had the right to do. I also felt there were three losers in one fight. He didn't know, being Chris Rock. He didn't want to do what he had to do, being Will Smith. And she did nothing, being Jada. And it's a very sad thing, but there was a powerful moment for me to sit and watch one of the world's best emoters in the ever we've seen speak from the heart and I would rather take the beauty out of the situation than take the pain um, but I had to leave my chair I'll be honest with you it, it, it cut me really deep and I don't I don't get deep about these things but I'm a big I'm a big movie fan I'll be honest with you and um, out of a horrible moment there was a little bit of beauty in what came on and I'm sure everyone's very apologetic about what happened it shouldn't have happened um, but ask yourself, what would you do in the same situation? I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. There was some question today about if anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris they if he wanted to file charges. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You know, that insult is going to last a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and disapprove or sh show a disapproval or say something on Twitter or whatever, you, you know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. No, no, I agree. I, I think we all agree on that. I just thought, Jim, but, that it escalated to that. You but, know what I mean? That it escalated to that level. It didn't escalate. It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's yes. frustrated, and I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great things, but that was have not a to... good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment last night. You know, a lot of people worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun and to, to get their award for the really hard work they did. And, uh, and, uh, and it, it is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're nominated for an Oscar. It's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do. And, uh, and you know, just it was just a selfish moment that cast a pall over the whole thing. You know, I haven't seen him yet tonight, no. Are, are you there for him? Because I know he may need you tonight. He may need you, especially if he he looked nervous Was he emo he looked Well, good. he should be. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a lot of emotions. This is a long time, well, I think a long time coming for him. And it's a lot of emotion. It's probably all welling up in him right now. I, I, I applaud Chris Rock for recovering, keeping the show moving. Uh, it was... <laughs> An incredibly uh, dignified uh, response. I'll say this, Will Smith can't take a joke. Chris Rock can take a punch. Can I ask you about this? You did post about the incident that happened last night on your social media. Did you think it was staged when you posted that? Sort of, kind of, but I never know. Still don't know. Still don't know. Okay. The Oscars tonight, a lot of big moments. Obviously, Will Smith, Chris Rock was a moment. Anything you guys want to say about that? Muhammad Ali was a great movie. <laughs> I think I think there's something deeper sort of uh, to be discussed, and I hope they they both step up man to man and kind of figure it all out, which I, I'm sure they will. <laughs> where, what do you feel like? What's your reaction, and where should they go from here? Um, they should go home. <laughs> they should go home and think about it. <laughs> it was crazy though. Shout out to Will. <laughs> well, I, I think it was very unfortunate. You know, I'm, I think part of doing stand-up and, and, and humor is you try to poke fun at everybody, and a lot of people were poked fun at, but that was very unfortunate because obviously it's something that she really, you know, it was, it was tough. And also, I think when they poke fun at you and you're one of the celebrities, it's a little different than if you're the wife of one. But I absolutely don't condone violence of any kind, so... Um, 
historic night of winners. Uh, yes, historic night of winners. I wish it hadn't happened. I was confused. I feel like everyone's confused right now, especially because we were watching at home, so it, it stopped. So I, I'm curious tomorrow to see actually what happened. You know, shit happens sometimes. My nigga Chris Rock got a chin, though. I know ain't nobody even not thinking what I'm thinking. He got a chin. Yeah. Hey man, that, that slap was many years in the making right there. Will Smith, we got you, bro, for life. We got you. Shit was crazy. Will Smith did tonight was straight bullshit. Props and congratulations to him for winning the Oscar, because damn it, he deserved it. And I love the brother and I'm proud of him, but boy, was that a shameful act for him to commit tonight. To go up on stage and slap Chris Rock like that, he's lucky he didn't get his ass kicked, particularly after the event was over. If not by Chris Rock, to the fellas he had there with him, I mean, damn. Denzel and Bradley Cooper and Tyler Perry having to calm you down, your publicist having to run out and, and calm you down. I mean, damn, come on, bro. Come on, man. There's no excuse for it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't even try to justify it, okay? guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi it's Keisha I'm your host for today's video so the footage that you just saw just now were a few celebrities talking about the Will Smith and Chris Rock altercation now it's so unfortunate because that could have been a very magical night for a lot of these actors and actresses but unfortunately it was quickly shadowed with Will Smith's horrible decision of walking on stage and slapping the living daylights out of Chris Rock at least it seems from our perspective anyways it's very interesting to see that certain celebrities who were actually at the venue couldn't really see what was happening you've even got one specific celebrity saying that once he gets home he's gonna watch it from a different point of view and see what actually happened I think overall a lot of people do look at Will Smith a little bit differently they can admire his work and his talent but they don't really admire what has taken place on that night the video itself literally has seven times more views than the actual Oscars, which is absolutely insane in itself. But you know, people love drama, people love controversy. You don't need to literally fight somebody in order to get your point across. What happened to verbally speaking to someone and killing them with, not necessarily with kindness, because anybody got time for that, let's be honest. But killing someone with your words. I think words hold power and I think Will Smith's words could have been enough to make Chris Rock shut up. I get it if you feel very uncomfortable by a joke. If your missus feels very uncomfortable by a joke, then I get it. You have every right to feel some type of way. But there are a lot of people who get disrespected. There are a lot of people who get named and shamed constantly who just suck it up and just bite their tongue. It's as literally as simple as that. And I feel like Will Smith could have done that in that situation. Again, Jada Smith does get a lot of scrutiny in the media, um, at times uncalled for and sometimes rightfully so and that's me keeping it real there are times where jada pinkett smith will go on the red table talk and in my opinion make will smith seem like less of a man or make it seem like will smith isn't doing much or will smith isn't really the definition of a man i don't know if you guys get that kind of vibe um maybe not so much now in the most recent year or so but there was definitely a time back in 2000 maybe 18 19 where i felt like we could live without knowing that like that's between you and your man that's between you and your family you know like this is definitely opening up the conversation for more people to get involved and i don't think jada you would want to hear our opinions about your relationship with your man of course the whole entanglement thing i really thought chris rock would make a joke about it <laughs> imagine yeah i saw this joke somewhere and i think this is the funniest thing i've ever seen imagine yeah when will smith slapped to chris rock chris rock said ow you just punched me into august <laughs> i don't know what will smith will do because if you can punch someone based on him making a joke um about gij which i felt like was uncalled for as well i'm gonna go ahead and say that bro if 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 chris rock mentioned august alcina it would be over <laughs> In some ways i feel like maybe will smith felt like he had to do that um because in his mind he felt like 
that was what being a man is like because i think there's been a lot of conversation about will smith's actions and behaviors in the last couple of years and about how like people feel like he's not doing enough but that's my thing you're not involved in a relationship so i don't think it's right for people to say stuff like oh this person clearly isn't doing enough i feel as though if will smith felt that he had to do that to you know be this bravo this 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 big guy then no like you i wouldn't say you took an l because you technically won an oscar straight after but you know like there's ways to go about it and i really do hope that you sit down with your feelings very interesting to see a bunch of celebrities get involved in the discussion comment down below who you guys agree with who you guys disagree with who was right in the situation and who wasn't right in the situation let me know honestly it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the next upcoming months and years chris rock sales have skyrocketed with his comedy or well, stand-up comedy so there's that uh, you've got will smith who's going to be coming out with a movie i believe the end of this year or the beginning of 2023 it seems like these people are not stopping anytime soon but yeah it was just such a crazy moment for tv and definitely an unforgettable one i've been your host it's keisha go ahead and connect with me over on my instagram it's keisha underscore if you guys want to go and shoot me a dm of anything well not anything <laughs> not everything <laughs> if you guys want to go and shoot me a dm literally do it i double dare you i don't know about you but i love me a little challenge okay i do follow people back because life's too short to act bougie all right that's pretty much it for today's video i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video bye